Hey guys, this is Sage from Sage Knows IT. I uh, thought I'd do a follow-up or an expansion on a post that I did a couple of months ago um, about my experiences with the doing the CISSP. In particular, I wanted to kind of showcase to you guys or demonstrate to you guys uh, one of the uh, ways that I studied for the test, specifically going through some of the uh, course materials um, and for those who don't know the CISSP is this certified information system security professional uh, examination that is given by ISC squared it's one of the premier uh, certifications that are out there for uh, cybersecurity um, it focuses mo mostly on the management side um, more so than the technical side of it, um, which was one of my appeals considering the things that I've done in the past. Um, one of the things that I, I noticed going into the test is that a lot of the course materials were just, you know, too big with eight sections and over 500, uh, 600 pages uh, of course material to go through. Um, and the time frame that I wanted to, to get it done um, was not going to be conducive to my learning experience considering everything that I have uh, in life going on you know with uh, a family uh, keeping up with the kids sports um, you know going to work full-time it's just was very difficult for me to continue to read or just read on the weekends or or staying up late at night to do it. So I was thinking to myself, I need a way to be able to consume this content um, without reading it directly uh, or, or taking up the time to read it directly. Um, so I had an idea. Um, I know that for me, I consume material like podcasts, informational podcasts and cybersecurity podcasts um, while I'm driving or while I'm doing errands, running errands, going to the post office. Etc. So I thought, well, might wouldn't it be a good idea if I was able to do that same thing with going through some of this course material. Um, so I hopped onto Amazon um, and did you know, a couple of searches for some books and materials that I could use. And I actually have an, an Alexa who Alexa, stop, stop. Got to make sure I do that too. Um, but I have an Amazon Echo. And one of the greatest features of Amazon Echo is it's able to read the books that you purchase through Kindle. Um, and if you have Kindle Unlimited, oh my goodness, it's just, it's fantastic because you you have a whole suite of, uh, of course material that you can use completely, I don't wanna say free, um, because it, it comes with your subscription, but you don't have to pay anything extra and you can actually let Alexa stop. Um, you can you can allow the Amazon Echo to 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 read that to you, consume that content while you're doing something else. Now I know multitasking isn't always the best thing, but it, sometimes it's easier to follow along or um, easier to uh, listen to it and then go back into the material. So I want to go ahead and demonstrate to you guys exactly how I did it. So the very first thing that I do, um, and if you don't already have it, the link will be in the bio for the Amazon Unlimited as well as the Amazon Echo if you don't have it. Uh, but one of the things that I, uh, what I do first is um, I go to Amazon.com. I toggle down here to the Kendall store and then I just put in a topic like the CISSP uh, or you know let's do, let's do the security plus on this one just as an example and see some of the books that they have here um, so this one here is you know this one shows Kindle Unlimited so th this is one of the things that I try to look for I like like to look for things that say Kindle Unlimited so then that way it's easier for like it's part of my subscription process I don't have to pay anything extra for it you can actually toggle up here to the top left here for Kindle Unlimited um, and it'll give you all the information or all the books that are eligible for Kindle Unlimited so once I go ahead and, and purchase this then what I do is um, I, I can use this anywhere in the house, in the car, but I prefer my tablet um, and it actually comes with a, a speaker in the back as well. Um, so what I typically do is once I get that done, once I get that downloaded and everything, um, I download the uh, Amazon Alexa app and my... Sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> and, and my thing. 
Um, and I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. I know I'm gonna get a better camera angle later, but here I could just scroll down to my library where it says Kendall Library. And you know what, let me, let me bring this up full screen so you can see it better. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll scroll down and, and you'll see Audible Libraries. And, and here we go, we have uh, Kendall Libraries. And so that book that I was telling you guys about the security, um, I have it right here. So I just load it up and then there's a menu that comes up and asks me, hey, um, you know, what device do you want to put it under? And I'll just select this device here and then it's going to load it's it up. It's important to realize that effective countermeasures exist for all of the attacks listed in this book. However, attackers are actively working on beating the countermeasures. Okay, and that's that's it. And that's all you have to do um, to go through some of this, this course material. Um, and if you're like me, sometimes when I read by myself, like I completely... I, I, I don't zone out, but I, I start to fall asleep. Like I feel myself falling asleep. Um, so with doing this method here, I can actually follow along with the book. You can actually load up the, um, through your Kindle app, you can actually load up the, the material exactly when, or at the same time that you are, are reading it. And this is helpful as well because sometimes it, it'll, it'll actually improve your, um, it'll actually improve the speed of which you read. Um, for the Kindle. Now, I don't think there's a feature in there where I can get her to speed up the conversation. Um, that is also something I know at the very beginning when I was testing that I wanted to see if that was uh, indeed possible. Um, but I'm, I'm opening up the, I'm opening it up here real quick here so that way you guys can see it. So here, I have it opened up here, the book. If you guys can see that and it tells me exactly where the author or where the Amazon Echo is so I'm gonna go back to my menu Let's see if I can get her to play real quick here the demo gods don't love me today Sometimes it's helpful to open the book first and then and then do it. Okay, here we go to play. So play menu is coming up. There we go. Alright, let's go down to the book. Where the demo guys do not love me today. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down to this device. Denial of service. A denial of service DOS attack is an attack intended to make a computer's resources or services unavailable to users. See? And now I can In go other ahead words, it prevents a service. And I can read at the same time. So I find that I find this method to me I find it important. Um, if this is something that you'd be interested into, again I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link in the comment section so that you guys can get uh, the unlimited. I think you'll get I think you might get a free trial. I'll see about that. Uh, but look in the comment section. But you'll definitely uh, it, there will definitely be a link there for the Amazon Echo. Um, and then just like I said, just download the Kindle app and, and you're well on your way there. So I hopefully you guys found this information useful and helpful um, in your studies. And you could use this for pretty much anything. It doesn't have to just be for the CISSP, but this is one of the ways that I use it. It's one of my life hacks um, when I'm consuming uh, content. So thank you so much for uh, watching the video. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. Please don't forget uh, to like, subscribe to this video, as well as go to my uh, blog at www.sageknowsit.com. And then there's Twitter and Instagram, which I'm also active on as well. Thank you so much. Y'all know the drill. Keep it real.